Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Surrender and let go of the past. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 354, Nasdaq's up 278, S&P's down 78, gold contract down $29.80 at 1647 an ounce. We have silver down 75 cents, $18.16 an ounce, late sweet crude. Off 342, $85.69 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10 year note, down 13 ticks, trading 110.19, the 30 year off 27 at 123.23 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 975 ticks, trading at 113.337, the euro is at 97, the yen is out here at a price point of, uh, bingo, where are you? Of 148, oh my God. And the British pound is at 111. Pretty amazing, man. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, folks, is that you had that huge day yesterday. You're pulling back into it. Now, what's intriguing here, when, we, when you pull back in, after a day like this, is that the, you have option expiration. So what's happening here simultaneously is that the option market makers are basically trying to get their, not just the option market makers, people are putting trades on and they're trying to get Delta neutral so they got smacked them one way or the other, okay? That being said, um, you know, we'll see where this shakes out. We need it above the benchmarks, that's for sure. And we're not going to get that today. What I do like today, okay, now I'm going on the aspect that we're still going to get a bounce here. What I do like today is this. When you have a day like yesterday, and then you have continued selling down here today, this, that's where selling can abate. That's, that's the bottom line. That being said, the bottom line, though, is that you're going to get back inside the range. That's, that's the number. You don't get back inside this range. If we don't get back inside this range in a couple days, the 262, this thing's going, this thing's making the next leg. So this is going to be tricky, man. You know, if this makes the next leg without stopping, it'll be something else. And that, that would, I'll get to the dollar in a second, but that would mean that the dollar actually is going to blow away its swing high and make that run for 121. We take a look at the, and the cues and, same setup. Now, the Qs yesterday had a hard time getting inside it, okay? They just about did it. They closed yesterday at, uh, yesterday they, so, oh, what is, do I have this on a daily? What do I have this on right now? I got it on a weekly. Hold on, let me put this on a daily. So, on the daily yesterday, we had the Qs close at uh, 270.17. And I believe it's 269 that had a close and it did it. Yeah, it was 269.28. So it had done it, best guess what, but it's not there now. And that's the number that has to go inside, 269.28. Because what you're going to see is that, yeah, you have lighter volume. We're going to have a volume today of about uh, 70 million probably. So we're going to do mm, 360 on a weekly versus 409. You don't have that rejection, though. You know, Oil. Oil market. You can take a look at this oil market. Bottom line, you know, this thing more than likely, let's see, 213,000 contracts. Come on, give me that volume down there. There we go. Okay, so that, that's, that's, you, you can't, that's light volume. That being said, though, I think this oil is going to come all the way back. So you're coming into... 303,000 contracts, you get 214. You know, it's, it's going to get dangerous here. So look at this for a second. So the first, first tie was what? 97.91. Yeah. So, so check, this is, the oil's in a downtrend, man. I, I, I brought this up yesterday. This is, you get three higher 
Well, you got more than three. I, got, I mean, I can count one, two, three, four, five, six. You get six lower highs, and we got one, two, three, four, five, six lower lows, man. You know? So oil wants lower price. That's, that's the bottom line. Now, let's go over the dollar. We take a look at the dollar. The dollar out here. Okay, so you're up 969 ticks. Started off the small. You can see right, right away. The, the you know, it's amazing thing here, too, folks, is that uh, the dollar started going higher at 9.15 this morning. And that's when our futures were actually flat. And that's all it takes, man. The, the bottom line, you know, it, it's the dollar and the bonds that, you know, are going to direct us where the broad market's going to go. So let's go over to the, I want to go over to the bonds for a second, the 10-year. Look at this, it's going to bust through, man. It, it saved itself yesterday, but the 10-year is it right, it's right at the benchmark, which is 110.19. So... That breaks that benchmark. It broke it yesterday, but came back inside. It breaks that benchmark. If we go look at how we're set up here with a... Put this on a weekly. Let's see how this is setting up right now. Ooh, look at how far you got to go back. Oh, man. I'm going to put it on a monthly. <laughs> this is this has gone down so fast, folks, that the bottom line, dailies and weeklies don't do it. Look at this. Almost a monthly doesn't do anything. Oh, my God. A 15-year monthly actually doesn't do anything to that chart, meaning that you can't look at the left-hand side of the chart. So I'm going to go over to 25 years. Okay. Oh, yeah. I can see what's happening. Yeah. We're going lower, man. This is going to 104. Yeah. So you're at 110 right now. And guess what? Once you broke the 112, it's like 104 is wide open, man. That's going back to 2007. That's how this thing uh, seems to be set up. So that's going to be, no doubt, pretty intense. Um, that's for sure. Uh, XLE, a couple of targets want to take a look at. So let's take a look at the XLE. Okay, so yesterday we came up with volume. Couldn't break it. 83.71. Yeah, stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading uh, down 386. NASDAQ's off 295. S&P's off 83. We'll come right back.